If you love comfort and style as much as I do, then it's time to master sneaker style. And today I've created a video all about the key trends in sneakers for 2023 and also how to wear them. And this video is for sneaker freaks and non-sneaker wearers alike. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Now, if you're tired of sacrificing comfort for style, then this video is for you. Today, I'm sharing some of the key sneaker trends and how to wear them for any occasion. I've recently been invited to a wedding and would love to wear sneakers, so I've been doing a little bit of research and you know what? You can actually wear sneakers to a wedding and wear them well. So today, I'm going to share a whole lot of the trends and which sneakers are best for which occasion and how to wear them. So to get started, I think it's really important to cover off the six key sneaker trends that are happening this year so that you can have a good look at what's on offer and pick a style or two or three that are going to suit your lifestyle and your personal style. Now the first trend, and this one's been happening for a while, is retro sneakers. I'm blaming the Adidas Samba for really kicking off this retro look, but it's very much a happening look. Now, one of the great things about these retro style sneakers is that they team beautifully with a sort of preppy style of dress that's happening at the moment. But despite that, I do believe that these retro style sneakers are going to be here for some time. So if you're new to sneakers, I would suggest looking at some of these retro styles. They're fairly low profile, they're not your sort of chunky dad style sneakers, and these retro styles are also really easy to incorporate into outfits. Now another key sneaker trend for this year is the sort of hiking style sneakers. Now these aren't for the faint hearted, and certainly if you're new to styling sneakers with your dresses and skirts and maybe workwear, I would probably steer clear of this particular style just because it will be a little bit of a stretch and perhaps take you a little bit too far outside your comfort zone. But these hiking style sneakers and high tops are definitely a really functional, practical and good option. And I also think that they are here to stay. Then of course you've always got what I call designer sneakers and these are the sort of high end sneakers. And what I have seen a lot of in the last few years is the Golden Goose. Now I think that they are a bit of a stretch for new sneaker converts because they've kind of got that distressed grunge look and if you're just starting out styling sneakers, I'd probably steer clear of them and instead opt for some of these kind of more modern takes. So. The sneaker that I'm particularly thinking about is the Chloe sneaker. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it up on the screen here. But these sneakers, when I first saw them, I thought, I need a pair of these. Then I saw how much they were and thought, I don't need them that much. But if you've got some cash to splash, a sneaker like this is going to take you places. And it's just got some really interesting detail, which I think is probably what caught my attention at first. But the blanket sort of stitch detail on these sneakers and the interesting color combinations mean that they're going to go with lots of different outfits and lots of different styles. So this one is definitely one that I would love to own, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. But designer sneakers are also an easy way to incorporate sneakers into an outfit. And then of course, you've got your classics and a classic white low profile sneaker with no bells and whistles and no extra detail is potentially gonna be the easiest way to start if you're just getting used to sneaker trends. And certainly for sneaker freaks, I'm sure you guys have found these already, but a classic pair of Nike Air Force, white Nike Air Force, or just low profile, simple classic white sneakers are really gonna take you places in comfort and style. So you can't go past a good pair of classic white sneakers. Now let's move into some of my top tips for styling sneakers. And certainly these tips apply to anyone if you're just starting out wearing sneakers or if you are a sneaker freak and have been wearing them and incorporating them into your outfits for years. Now my first piece of advice, especially for you newbies, is to just be patient. Just persist. Whenever I talk about sneakers wearing, sneakers with skirts and dresses on my channel, I do get lots of comments from people saying that they've tried them and they just feel frumpy or they don't seem to work. The key with this look is persistence and patience and just 
Getting used to the look. It does tend to be quite a stretch if you haven't styled your outfits with sneakers before, but it does get easier. So my first piece of advice is to just stick with it. Try, try, and try again. Your feet will thank you for it. The comfort that you'll get from wearing sneakers instead of any other shoes that you own is definitely worth a little bit of patience and persistence. So my first piece of advice is just stick with it for now. Now my next tip is to utilize accessories to create a seamless sneaker style. So what I mean is, if you're wearing a fairly neutral outfit and your sneakers have a touch of a particular color, think about in introducing an accessory in that color just to create a bit of a seamless outfit. So accessories in my mind play a huge role in making sure your outfits or your sneaker outfits work really well. And since accessories play such a key part in styling sneakers, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Casetify. Now, I've worked with Casetify before and I've been a huge fan of their phone cases for years and years. So I'm always really excited when brands that I love and have enjoyed personally want to work with me here on YouTube. But Casetify has this very cool new personalization option on phone cases and this in my opinion is a super easy way to add a little bit of something extra to your sneaker style so it fits in perfectly with today's video and I don't know about you guys but I just love anything that is personalized so I really love this new retro styling in fact it took me ages to work out what style to choose I opted for this green case because as I mentioned I have some green sneakers with a well they're white sneakers with a tiny touch of green in them and I kind of just wanted an accessory that had the same color green just to kind of as I said create that cohesive look I've also just recently got into the case to buy straps so I grabbed this plain black rope style strap because I know it's going to work back with all of my different phone cases. Casetify are the world leaders and I've been using them for years and years, so definitely swear by the quality of these cases. And the fact that they are so fun and colorful just is an added bonus. So they're a really easy way to help you accessorize some of your sneakers and add that little sometimes needed pop of color to your outfit in a really affordable and practical way. And the team at Casetify are also giving you 15% off your entire order. So all you need to do is use the link which I will leave in my description box below, but that is simply casetify.com forward slash the style insider, and that will give you 15% off your order. So if you are thinking about styling your sneakers up and you need a little pop of color to work with them, then whip online, take a look at these new personalization options, monogram madness, which I'm calling it because it's really tricky to choose. There are so many cool options on offer, but have a little look and definitely take advantage of that discount code. The link is in the description box below, but once again, it's casetify.com forward slash the style insider, and that will save you 15% off. So definitely take advantage of that cool offer. And now next up, for you petite girls, you can absolutely wear sneakers with dresses and skirts, but there are a few things that I think help create a good look. And that is if you're wearing a slightly shorter style skirt or a mini skirt, I'd opt for a platform sneaker just to sort of balance the look a little bit. And certainly if you're wearing a maxi, then opt for a gain a platform or a little bit of a wedge style sneaker. The Converse Runstar Hike, which I own a couple of pairs of, are great for this, just to ma manage and balance out those proportions. What I would say is steer clear of midi skirts for you and for most people if you're wearing sneakers because that midi will cut your mid-calf and it will tend to shorten your look. So if you don't mind that look, that's absolutely fine, but I never recommend it. And certainly think about if you're wearing socks with your sneakers, wear those socks finish because if they're finishing on the part of your calf that starts to widen out, again, that's gonna shorten your legs as well. So petites, you can definitely wear this look, but just think about the type of sneakers that you're teaming with some of your looks. And a platform or a wedge style sneaker is definitely going to help you. So these days, sneakers are definitely office appropriate. Obviously, it's going to depend on what sort of office you work in and only you will know that, but certainly you can create a very stylish, professional look with sneakers. What I do tend to advise is to keep it classic. Stick with a really simple classic sneaker if you're teaming it with a corporate style suit. 
and use accessories like a handbag, sunglasses, or a beautiful Chanel style blazer to add that bit of interest and texture to an outfit. But otherwise I would say keep your sneakers fairly clean and minimal. And clean reminds me that your sneakers that you're wearing outside and they've kind of had a little bit of wear and tear, they're not the sneakers that you can style with most of these outfits. Keep them for at home or just wearing with your active wear. But when I am talking about styling sneakers with everyday outfits to create a, a little bit of a stylish look, you do need to make sure that you keep those sneakers nice and clean. And when it comes to styling sneakers, whether it be for a professional setting or just creating a really smart casual look, it does take a little bit of experimentation. So it might mean that you need to put aside an hour on the weekend and try a few of your different outfits on and a few of your different trainers on with them. Or what I do often say too is do a little bit, bit of research. Whip onto Pinterest, whip online, find some sneaker styles that you really like use those as inspiration and see what outfits that you could create from your own wardrobe and which sneakers are going to work best for you. It is all about finding the right sneaker style that really suits your style. That sometimes takes a bit of experimentation and if you don't wanna go out and buy sneakers to try on first, then what I would suggest is doing that little bit of research and trying to maybe even put together a mood board, coming up with some sneaker styles that you know are going to work for you. And when it comes to formal events, Sneakers definitely have a place. Now, they're not gonna be right for everyone and they do require a little bit of something extra when it comes to styling sneakers. And I've even seen some beautiful brides wearing sneakers, bridesmaids and guests, wedding guests wearing sneakers. But I do think you have to be a little careful with how you do that. The best and easiest way to do it is wearing sneakers teamed with maxi dresses because you generally only sort of see a little bit of a hint of them. But when you think about it, sneakers are probably the most practical footwear for a bride to wear or for even a guest, a wedding guest to wear. When you are standing around on your feet for hours, you dance the night away, sneakers definitely are a good option. What I do suggest though is opting for a maxi style dress and a very understated sneaker. That's probably the only way you're going to get away with it. And also think about your accessories as being a little bit more upscale. So whether you wear a beautiful sequin dress and a fur or faux fur jacket or coat, then you can have sort of sneakers. It's really about balancing that high low look so that your sneakers look intentional. They're an intentional part of your outfit and creating a, an outfit that does have that real sort of high low with sequins or fur or a very upscale dress or outfit and team them back with sneakers. It's intentional. It's making a style statement. So think about how you're teaming those pieces together to create a high low outfit, which is in my opinion, the best way of doing it. Now I just wanted to touch on some of the key sneaker outfits that are very much a happening thing for this year. Now not so long ago, the sneaker style was to wear sort of dad style chunky trainers with sundresses and summer frocks and maxis. But what seems to have happened this year is that those sneakers have paired, been paired back and we're seeing more pretty, floaty summer dresses worn back with more of a classic simple sneaker. Obviously it depends on your personal style, but in terms of trends, this is very much the happening look for spring, summer this year. So anything that's really pretty and floaty is definitely being teamed back with a more sleek, classic, simple style sneaker, as opposed to what we saw last year, which was that really chunky dad style. And because we're still seeing a huge focus on neutrals and monochrome neutral outfits, this is the time to let your colorful, vibrant, beautiful, bold sneakers shine because this is when they will shine. With a pop of color, a beautiful bold sneaker is really going to have its moment when it's teamed back with a neutral outfit. And certainly any neutral styling will give you that ability just to create a statement with your sneakers. So if you are into bright colored sneakers, 
which I am from time to time, a great way to style those and incorporate them into your outfits is with monochrome or certainly beige toned neutrals. It really does just let the sneaker do all the talking. And with these outfits, that's where a small accessory in the same color, whether it's a case to buy phone case or a scarf, really just creates that cohesion with the outfit. Or otherwise, you can simply stick with a neutral outfit and let your sneakers do all the talking. Another way to wear sneakers with dresses and skirts is to show a little bit of sock. Now, in the past, socks have all been kind of no-show and needing to be hidden, and that's often been tricky, but now there's a real trend for actually showing the socks that you're wearing. But a little bit of a word of warning, like I did mention earlier, is just be really careful where those socks finish. And certainly you don't want to break up your leg in too many parts. They will look great with a maxi style skirt, and if you have super great legs, they'll work with a mini skirt. But again, it's up to you with your styling and what you like the look of. But socks are great. There are also some really cool socks as well. So some sparkly socks that can work well with just simple classic white sneakers. But socks are definitely here and making a comeback as well. So think about teaming some of your favorite sneakers and, and socks with some of your favorite dresses. But just beware of where those socks end. You don't want to highlight the widest part of your calf or where your ankle starts to widen out. So just think about that. But socks are a great way of adding some interest and using the socks to actually style and create a, a lovely outfit. And obviously baggy style jeans are very much a happening look for this year. And what I do recommend when it comes to styling sneakers with baggy style jeans is to opt for a sleeker style sneaker. When you try and team a sort of a chunky lug style or dad style type sneaker with these more voluminous denim jeans, what you do run the risk of is creating an outfit that's just quite bottom heavy. So to get around this, just opt for more of a sleeker style sneaker. Sleeker, Steve, sneaker, <laughs> tongue twister. And when it comes to retro sneakers, you can wear them with more sort of preppy retro style outfits. But the sort of fresher, more modern way to, to wear them is to team them with more sort of polished outfits. So baggy man style trousers and really sort of polished, more structured pieces or tailored pieces, I should say. I think the juxtaposition of the retro sneakers worn with more sort of tailored pieces just creates a little bit more of a modern, fresh look. So think about this as well. Now that you're across all of the key sneaker trends and how to wear them, then you might like to know which fall fashion trends are heading our way real soon. So click or tap on the screen here and I'll see you there.